Hi, I'm Jeremy Sutton, and I'm going to introduce you to my desert category of brushes. There's 15 brush variants. And let's start off here by actually filling this white canvas with a gradient. So what I'm gonna do is pick a two-tone gradient. I'm gonna have blue as one color, and I'm clicking that little swap arrow there, and now working on the second color here, like a light sandy color like that. And you'll see that this swap arrow here swaps out the main and additional color. For the point of view of a two-tone gradient, it actually doesn't matter which is in which position because we're just gonna use those two as the basis for the gradient. And to do that, we just go to Window, Media Control Panel, Gradients. This gives us the Gradients panel here. You'll notice here that you have an angle slider. We've selected the default, which is the main to additional color two-tone color and you adjust the angle slider till you have the one you want on top so we want the blue on top and the yellow on the bottom and then we go fill so edit fill command F on a Mac control F on a PC and we select in the fill dialog box fill with gradient simple as that done let's start off using the rolling dunes down there that's the, cat, that's the brush variant called Rolling Dunes. I'm going to pick sort of a fairly light yellow, and I'm just going to make a stroke from left to right. There we go. We've got some Rolling Dunes. And uh, let's, in the horizon, put in uh, some sort of rocky terrain. So I'm going to go Rolling Dunes to Rocky Horizon. And as with atmospheric perspective, I'm going to emulate this blue-gray color here. I'm actually going to press the Alt on a PC, Option on a Mac, to select that color there. And we'll just put in a little rocky terrain in the background and add some rock crops on the left using a similar color. Now let's add some dune ripples. Pick a light color and get there. We got some nice ripples in the foreground. And we'll have a little feature here in the background of a camel caravan making its way over the desert. We imagine the stars just starting to show in the sky here. That's using the desert stars brush variant. We're going to sprinkle some sand in the foreground. That's sand sprinkles. Can even be take the form of a little pathway because that is pressure sensitive so I can get some more subtle variations as I change pressure and in the toady texture we actually have the texture of the scales of a desert lizard and so this can be used as sort of more abstract texturization it actually has an interesting um, landscape like set of features. Let's throw in some tumbling weed. What would a desert be without a little tumbleweed blowing around? And we can just change the size of the tumbleweed uh, by adjusting brush size. And I'm using the shortcut command option on a Mac, control alt on a PC to drag the brush size in the canvas. Another desert feature which can produce an interesting texture is uh, the ghost plants, which are succulents. And we'll just throw in a little bit of texture from those. And these actually remind me of the hens and chicks, the default pattern in Painter. Now we're going to have the desert shrubs appearing also in the foreground. And these will be sort of a pale green type of shrub. And on top of the desert shrubs, we're going to throw in some bright blooms and imagine that the rains have come and that the desert blooms. And when it does bloom, it blooms with beautiful bright colors. So we'll see uh, pinks, blues, yellows, so all sorts of beautiful colors. And this is with the brush called Bright Blooms. And of course, the most classic plant in the desert is the cactus. So we're going to draw in a couple of uh, cacti uh, using the cactus sketcher. 
and this is a pressure sensitive brush as most of these are and I'm controlling the the breadth of the cactus plant with pressure as I draw it. I'm going to add a very special tree, the Joshua Tree, Joshua Tree National Park in Southern California. So let's throw in a couple of Joshua trees here and maybe draw one of our own using the Joshua paint. And this Joshua paint is designed uh, basically so you can create your own individual Joshua tree so it's got the nice explosive sort of palm fond at the end of the branch system and quite a complex branch system with those fonds there there we go and with that we have a little desert scene